Second level seats are on top of the sloping walls behind you. Coming out here, we just found white marble seats all around you. And if you look here right, you can see the first slope, then a walk where people are, then the second slope, and those are the first two tiers. So there were four levels in total, and the first one was where the VIPs of ancient Rome sat. Senators, foreign ambassadors, high priests, and similar. On the second level, the knights, those are wealthy yet not noble, let's say the middle class, using a modern expression. On the third level, above the square windows, the average people, the working class, and on the nose building section, the top level, see the last railing, the lowest of the lowest in Roman society. People like slaves, peasants, women, that kind of people. Poor <laughs> guides. The area I'm talking about is where most people stood on a terrace under this colonnade up here. And women had to come up here. The ones that came here too often were anyways considered somewhat eccentric. The top level was also the performing area of those women that came here to earn a living, if you know what I mean. The gates were 80, four of the gates were not numbered. The Emperor's Gate, the one at the right end of the short axis of the building. We see the large bronze cross on the right. You can see the cross, yeah? Mm -hmm. The Emperor's Box is above the cross. You see the square empty space, that gap in between the walls. That's what the Emperor said to his family. In front of it, on the other side, we see those two white pillars, was the Senator's Gate. Senators had their seats assigned for life in this building and their names carved on their seats. As a senator died, his name was chiseled away and a new name was carved. So the expression, I don't see your name on that seat, came from this building. That was a joke. The uh, Gladiator's entrance is at the opposite end of the long axis. We see that terrace on the other side. There used to be an archway there called the Triumphal Gate. Gladiators entered the arena as it was a triumphal parade, with nice purple and gold outfits on, and slaves walking behind them carrying their weapons. The one around the arena once, they stopped at the emperor's box to say, Hail to the emperor with the formula, We were about to die, salute you. Then it went to the uh, armory, which is part of that maze that was uh, under the floor, I mean, in the underground area of the building where they put on their fighting gear. Gladiators enter the arena alive through there, they exited dead from here. The gate at this one end of the long axis is the infamous Libitina's gate. Libitina was the patron goddess of funerals. The only people coming out of this gate alive were the slaves carrying bodies outside. All surviving gladiators for good luck went back out through the other gate. Nine years ago, a portion of the floor of the arena was reconstructed on this side. You know, just to show people what the arena would have been like, right? So you should try to picture an identical wooden stage stretching across the entire oval. The whole area down below was covered by a timber floor sprinkled with sand. The purpose of the sand was to absorb the blood, so it would not get slippery on the busy days. The word sand in Latin is arena. That's why we call these kind of buildings arenas, from that blood absorbing sand. There were two more levels under the floor of the arena. The underground area of the building was very busy during the games. About 300 people were working there. You should be able to see those rows of square chambers running parallel to the long axis. Yeah? Now, uh, each one of those was a lift. The wild animals are led through narrow tunnels on a ground level. At one point, they will get trapped in one of those uh, cubicles where a system of counterweights, a lift, would have brought him up as a trap door was opening on the floor of the arena. There used to be 28 trap doors, seven gates around the arena, and a stage manager planning and organizing when, where, and what was gonna be popping out on the floor of the arena. Now, whenever the wild animals were there, the crowds had to be protected. You know, those blocks lined up on the opposite side you know, by the cross. Uh, all the remains of the marble wall surrounding the arena, but that wall wasn't any higher than the first row of seats, of course, right? And you can see some of the first several seats reconstructed here where those railings are, so not high enough. They had to place a much higher metal net all around with archers, you know, ready to shoot down the animals trying to climb the nets. What also was under the floor, the arena was a system of cranes and counterweights, the machinery, they could have been moving up trees, rocks, you know, something else. 
a whole new stage set up with people in it even. You know, could have been emerging from the area underground with 10 minutes. The Gladiator's Armory was also part of that maze and the morgue. Questions, anybody?